Swati Krupp. An elderly monk has died after being vaccinated for COVID-19. Phuket Airport International Terminal is switching its light on for the first time in nearly a year. And an elaborate banquet set up in Jombri, but all the guests were dead. And thank you to Matthew Howard, one of our Tiger Legends, whose membership and support are greatly appreciated as we expand our services. But now, time for the news. A 70-year-old monk has died the day after he was injected with a COVID-19 vaccine, while three other monks at the same temple in Bangkok were taken to hospital some time after being injected to be treated for a high fever. One of them complained of chest tightness and difficulty breathing. Medical examiners will do an autopsy of the deceased monk's body today to determine if his death is related to the vaccination. Health officials didn't say which vaccine the monk received, but a report notes that the AstraZeneca vaccine is administered to people over 60 years of age, while the Sinovac vaccine is only given to people 18 to 59. At another Bangkok temple, 151 monks received their COVID-19 vaccine this week. No side effects were reported. The vaccinated monks are still advised to practice social distancing and to wear face masks. Meanwhile, the CSA reported today 58 new COVID-19 infections, 45 local and 13 imported, taking Thailand's total to 28,947. Phuket's International Airport Terminal is getting ready for the island's reopening by vaccinating all employees. The apparently mandatory vaccinations for airport frontline staff, according to the Phuket News, is hoped to increase confidence among foreign visitors, as many who have received a COVID-19 vaccine will be able to enter the island with relaxed quarantine measures. And just yesterday, officials confirmed that two flights from Germany will kick off the airport's reopening. Thai Airways International has also announced that it will open two direct flights from Frankfurt to Phuket with arrivals to the island tomorrow and May the 8th. Phuket Airport's general manager says the international terminal is officially open as of yesterday after being closed for nearly a full year. The government plans to test the reopening plans in Phuket for three months before other key tourist hotspots to help restart Thailand's tourism industry. Thailand's upcoming monsoon season is expected to start early and see the heaviest level of rainfall in 30 years. The Royal Irrigation Department is inviting agencies to prepare for the situation by inspecting reservoirs and irrigation infrastructure. As of now, Thailand's reservoirs are on average 50% full and the four main dams on the Chao Phraya River are 38% full. Thailand's rainy season is caused by the southwest monsoon that sweeps out of the Indian Ocean with moist air heading in a northeasterly direction across the country, sucked into the void left by the rising warm air over the heated Asian continent during the Northern Hemisphere summer. Hope you're taking some notes. The monsoon also coincides with Thailand's location in the Southeast Asian Tropical Rain Belt, the Inner Tropical Convergence Zone. The timing of the season isn't the same around the country and it isn't the same every year, although it's reasonably reliable. Chiang Mai doesn't have the same rainy season as the Gulf of Thailand Islands. Koh Samui's wet season is months after the islands on the other side of the Malay Peninsula. Of note, it's been raining in Phuket over the past two weeks at least once a day, start to the annual monsoon there about a month early. In another drug bust on the Mekong River, police seized 550 kilograms of crystal methamphetamine, valued around 275 million baht. Methamphetamine trafficking across the river from Laos to Thailand has spiked since the Myanmar coup as traffickers try and avoid the more heavily policed Thai-Myanmar border. So drug traffickers are cutting through Laos and across the Mekong River to smuggle the drugs into Thailand. Officers arrested two young Lao men at the riverbank in Nakhon Panom in far northeast Thailand as they were loading sacks of methamphetamine onto a pickup truck. Police say they suspect the 21 and 20-year-olds 
delivered the shipment of drugs on Wednesday night. The two men allegedly told police they were paid 5,000 baht each to deliver the methamphetamine. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs says it's formulated a plan to evacuate Thai citizens from Myanmar should the situation deteriorate further. The Thai Embassy in Yangon has confirmed that the protests against the Burmese military are ongoing, but deliveries of food have so far not been affected. The Thai government says they're keeping an eye on things in Myanmar, but don't feel that there's any need to repatriate Thai citizens at this time. The Royal Thai Air Force has ordered crews at Bangkok Dong Airport to prepare a fleet of transport aircraft in the event that Thai citizens do need to be evacuated. The Thai government says they have asked their Burmese counterparts to refrain from using violence against the protesters and to release more detainees. A spokesperson added that Thailand continues to work closely with other ASEAN members to find a solution to the conflict in Myanmar and to bring peace to the country's citizens. So far, working well. To fulfil a woman's dying wish, townspeople in the Pantong district of Jomburi hosted an elaborate banquet for ghosts in a local cemetery. The 36-table extravaganza was set up by a 43-year-old whose mother had asked him to give a free banquet for all the ghosts of her friends and family that had died before her, a sort of welcome party to the afterlife. The man honoured his mother's request earlier this week before she died with a no-expense spared feast featuring food and drinks, luxury dishes and silverware, even entertainment for the ghosts of honour. <clears throat> Sorry. A local event food service worker said that despite years in the industry, this was the first ghost dinner he'd catered for. He said he found it abnormal to serve the paranormal and was left with a ghastly feeling working in the cemetery. We also figured there was quite a lot of food left over after the event. Starting off around the capital today, and well, it's a bit of a sea of green. Good to see, but sadly over the next couple of days it will be getting worse. Temperatures up around 35 over the next two days, and cloudy. Down in Phuket and around the south, uh, green, green, green all the way through the weekend. Temperatures around 29 degrees for the weekend, cloudy with maybe some showers on Sunday. Up into the northeast and in Nakhon Ratchasima, we've got moderate air quality today. Will be even better tomorrow, but re returning to moderate on Sunday. Temperatures 39 tomorrow, but back to 33 on Sunday. Up in Chiang Mai, a different situation up there. The air quality unhealthy today, and there's also some airs, uh, some areas up there which are very unhealthy. Saturday and Sunday, much the same. Temperatures of 39 tomorrow and 33 on Sunday with possibility of showers and in the central Gulf of Thailand coast around Petchabri we've got a sea of green as well today but it will be getting a little bit worse over the weekend to moderate air quality temperatures of 31 and 32 Saturday and Sunday and cloudy well great to see some clear skies at least around the capital hopefully that will continue for a few more days as we are now moving into the southwest monsoon which should mean clearer skies generally across the country a thank you of course to our members and you can subscribe we'd appreciate that have a fantastic weekend and we look forward to seeing you next week you're up to date on the tiger